the viewfinder before I can be sure that you guys are watching. Yeah. That's point three seven six. So, ah, that's very close to where I want to be. I'll clip this a little bit off, a little bit more of it anyway. Here in a second. Um, hmm. Let me go and look at the thread chart. And I'll come back. All right, I need to get rid of that little bit right on the end there. Hopefully it won't change anything. We'll find out, won't we? That's good enough. That's the same size all the way down. So now I gotta find my threading tool, get set up on this, and we'll cut 24 threads per inch. Give me a few minutes. Now the camera battery's only got another half hour, so I need to hurry up and wind this thing up, don't I? I'm going to move it, try to move it in a better place for you to watch. I don't know if it will be. I don't know if this will hold still or bounce around. Let's, uh, let's turn on the motor and just see if it looks steady. real steady is it? guess I need to find something else. Well this looks to me like about the best I'm going to be able to do for you guys. I've got the lathe slowed down a lot and hopefully feeding in the right direction. And I got a nice little threading dial. Okay so Let's turn it on and see what it looks like. I mean, I don't know, that may stay tight. Alright, so now I need to take my thread gauge and let's see if it's right. Alright, so it's written on this gauge 24 threads per inch. I have a bit light. I hate these little lights, they don't work half the time. Ah, uh, so junky. Alright. It does look like it matches, so. We're going to call that the right spot. Back around to zero. I'm just going to plunge straight in with this thing. I'm not going to use the compound to feed it. That may be a mistake. It may not, but that's what we're going to do. So, I'll feed in about 5,000 to start off with. one more time just just for the heck of it just because I can
Well, let me measure it with a micrometer. I don't think it'll do me a lot of good to measure it with a thread micrometer because I don't actually know the depth of it. I'll have to. That says point four one three. So I take the plow and knock the high points off of there, and then I'll get a magnifying glass and put the the thread uh, gauge on there and see what it looks like. All right, right there at the last, my battery ran down, but the dimensions are correct from here to here and from here to here. But the overall length, I got a little hasty trimming on that, cut ten thousandths too much off. So I don't know if the threads are, you know, if they're actually going to be any good, uh, because. I didn't have anything to, ready to go by, other than just the thread gauge, you know. Uh, <laughs> so I may have to make him another, but I'm going to send this to him and find out where it was right and where it was wrong, and see if I can get a little better start on the next one if it doesn't work. Okay, let's go see what Bubba or somebody's up to. Boudreaux got elected sheriff there in his local parish, you know, where he lived there in Louisiana. And uh, so one of the things he noticed on his job there was he was a short, you know, one deputy. So he advertised for, a, you know, for somebody to be a deputy. And there was two Cajuns and, uh, and a, and a uh, Doberman pincher showed up to apply. He said, uh, you know, that dog's not going to get any worm any, so he put him in a room, gave him a test, and sure enough, that dober would come out on top in first place. So he thought, oh, I already got a drug dog, you know, and I, I don't need any more dogs in the department. He said, I, I got to get him in here and you figure a way to get rid of him, you know. And so he calls him in for his interview, and he says, well, he says, now there's three things that, that I got to have in a deputy. He says, one of them is that you got to be able to type. Dog jumps up there to the desk, starts typing away. Boudreaux looks at that and, oh, man, that's bad, you know. And, and he says, well, he says, there's something else. He says, you got to be able to use the computer. Dog jumps up there and starts working the computer. And Boudreaux's taking it back again. And he says, well, and, and another thing, he says, you got to be able to speak two languages. Dog walks up, looks Boudreaux right in the eye, and says, Meow! Well, that's all, folks. Uh, Y'all try to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a comment if you got something to say. And above all, remember, keep on keeping on. Bye now.